Bank of America Stadium seeing more and more big concerts every year. Luke Combs, Beyonce this year, just a, a few of the examples. But if you bought tickets and then sold them, you could have to pay taxes on them. Wake Up Charlotte's Megan Bragg is breaking down why in this morning's Verify. Several big names came to Charlotte this year during their concert tours, and you might have made a pretty penny from reselling tickets. But this year, you may have to give Uncle Sam some of that money back. The question, if you sell something for more than $600 on an e-commerce site, will you get a 1099-K form? Let's verify. Our sources, Mark Stieber, Tax Information Officer for Jackson Hewitt Tax Services, the IRS, and several e-commerce sites. According to the IRS, last year, a new law went into effect that now requires sales completed on e-commerce platforms to report to the IRS if they make more than $600. If it's more than $600, you're going to get a 1099-K from the platform. And not only are you going to get one, the IRS is going to get one. Several e-commerce sites say they will send a 1099-K form to the seller. Steber says remember that all income earned is taxable unless it's specifically under the tax code like life insurance and gifts. Under the law, person-to-person -person transfers are not supposed to be included, like sending your daughter gas money at college. But if you are selling stuff on eBay... You're supposed to get one of these, and you've got to account for that on your tax return. So we can verify that, yes, if you sell something for more than 600 on an e-commerce site, you will get a 1099-K form. With your Verify, I'm Megan Bragg. If you have something you would like us to verify, just email us at verify at wcnc.com.